Hey, look at me. This is where champions are made. You understand me? No. Nothing matters now. Get with your boys. The groin strain and everything else you might want to know about the area. Georgia St. Pierre, one of the greatest to ever step into the UFC cage, had to deal with it. Many others have as well. It is a very common sports injury, and man, it hurts. And it hurts for a long time. Why? Let's talk about it. I'm Dr. Lucius Pomerantz, an orthopedic surgeon and sometime combat sports practitioner here with the goal of educating you all about how the human body moves, can break down, and hopefully reduce the anxiety and confusion around these issues in the context of combat sports. The focus of this video will be on the classic groin strain or pulled groin. I do want to emphasize that groin pain can be many other things and one should always have consultation with a medical professional. Let's review the anatomy. The groin is defined as the area between the abdomen and the thigh. <laughs> There's a lot going on in this area. First, the pelvis, called the meeting point of the body. It's a series of bones that connect our spine to our legs. If you have ever played any sport, you've probably been told the importance of hip movement, and this is very much about the pelvis. The groin muscles attach to our pelvis and assist in the movement of our legs and our spine while allowing the pelvis to transmit forces from the lower body to the upper body and vice versa. When they are not working right, you know it. There are a lot of muscles that have attachments to the pelvis. The ones that can contribute to groin pain are the adductor muscle complex. Part of this being the adductor longus muscle is the most frequently involved in the classic groin strain. There's also the adductor magnus and the adductor brevis. Other muscles are the gracilis, obturator externus, sartorius, and pectineus muscles. Other muscles, such as the abdominal muscles, the rectus femoris, or the iliopsoas muscle can contribute to groin pain. The iliopsoas muscle is actually the tenderloin cut of cows, and a small portion of this makes up the filet mignon. These muscles are crucial to balance, stabilization, and maintaining body posture while upright. Now, what we usually think of as the groin muscles are primarily the muscles that adduct or bring our leg towards the midline of our body. This is done by pulling on the inside of the big femur bone. If trying to adduct one leg, a person will be strongest when the hip is straight. However, if trying to synergistically adduct both legs at the same time, the most strength can be generated when the hips are being flexed and the knees extended. A common issue with the adductor hip muscles can be seen in the form of cerebral palsy called spastic diplegia. And the adductor muscles are essentially overactive all of the time, resulting in hips being adducted all of the time, and people have to walk with a scissor gait. So it should be pretty clear why it hurts so much when these muscles are injured and why it is so hard to rest them and allow them to heal. The injury is usually the tendon or tendons pulling off the pelvis, but there can be tearing within the tendon substance. It can also be tears within the muscles themselves. The risk factors to injury. Well, multiple things contribute to this. Sports with rapid acceleration and deceleration, direction changes, and kicking are the big culprits. Clearly, an injury can occur in situations like the banana split. One thing that is clear in research is that prior injury also makes someone more likely to get the injury. This increased susceptibility to injury may last up to 15 weeks after the initial injury. Whether this is from incomplete rehab or an underlying issue that was not corrected is still being worked out, it's probably a bit of both. Other things like reduced hip muscle strength, lower levels of sport specific training, being overweight, and reduced hip range of motion are all things that may contribute as well. So the symptoms, 
What does it feel like to have a groin strain? Well, it's pain in from the pelvis and down the inner thigh. There can be swelling, warmth, and even bruising as the injured tissues bleed. There can also be muscle cramping. There, there will certainly be some weakness and pain with adduction of the hip and pain when stretching the hip outward or abducting the hip. Growing pain can be other things. Medical professionals should be consulted. These issues could still be within the orthopedic realm like hip joint issues, nerve irritation from the spine or outside of the spine. Then there are non-orthopedic issues, abdominal or urologic issues such as hernias or urinary problems. The most obvious and pretty frequent cause in many sports is direct impact. So back to the classic groin strain and its treatment. One, make sure it's not one of the many other things that can contribute to groin pain. Two, rest. But gentle motion is okay. In general, stressing the muscle is okay if you can go through the entire range of motion necessary for the activity without pain. And three, gentle progression of strengthening after that. Physical therapy is best if supervised. Physical therapy can help identify muscle imbalances, weakness, or range of motion limits that may contribute to the underlying problem. Now, complete ruptures of these adductor muscles, the tendons being completely pulled off the bone, are rare. And surgery can be considered. That being said, many people, even high level athletes, can recover well without surgery. Chronic injuries just keeps happening. One can consider surgery to reduce pain. This is an intentional cutting of the tendons or an adductor release. But again, this is definitely not for everyone, though it is commonly used on kids with spastic diplegia to help them walk better. So not all of us can be Hall of Fame fighters like Georgia St. Pierre, but most of us who do sports will get a groin strain. Groin strains are a bummer. They take a while to get better. And if you do not take the time to rehab and get things right, you are more likely to get the injury again. So keep getting after it. Let's keep moving.